I'm Julia Yang, I'm a cellist, and right now I'm based in New York City, but I'm originally from Tallahassee, Florida. My name is Lee Dion, uh, we're all based in New York City right now, I'm originally from Ridgefield, Connecticut. And I'm Bridget Coleridge, and I'm originally from Melbourne, Australia. It must be interesting to decide what to play, right? And I mean, it's interesting with the trio repertoire. I mean, it's not as large a body of work as the string quartet repertoire. So there's sometimes a feeling that, you know, if you're together for five or six years, you'll have played most of the big stuff. But in terms of what we started with, I think it's pieces that we all really love. Mm -hmm. And they're all personal favorites. They're not necessarily the most uh, well-known trios. That's not actually what we played at the competition, but they're pieces that... Um, that we all just felt really committed to. Um, the Schumann Trio in particular was just Julia's favorite yeah, from the start. I love the and I, actually, I adore the piece also, but mm -hmm. you know, we were just saying this Schumann G Meyer Trio is not a competition piece. <laughs> no, it does. It's just really hard to pull off. Yeah, but yeah it's, um, it has some very tricky textures. The writing, especially for the stringed instruments, is yeah. it's not necessarily idiomatic to the yeah. instrument. Um, and so it, it, it can just be a little a little more difficult. Yeah. yeah. But um, I think we definitely all came off stage and felt like, oh, we really enjoyed that. Oh, you know, yeah. it felt good to be there together. And you can also feel the energy from the audience. I mm. think that always helps. Like, even the silence between the Stout and the Shostakovich, for instance, seems like... It really set the stage. Really yeah. sure, yeah. I mean, one really interesting disconnect between the feedback that we got from the audience and then also from the judges was they were saying that um, I could have played a lot more fully in a, in a lot of the pieces. And that was interesting because I think visually... I gave quite a strong impression to the audience, but in the um, overall balance of the group, I could have supported a little bit more. So orally, it wasn't quite corresponding. I was going to say, it's also interesting, that critique, because it's about one of the sort of fundamental issues in that you're always thinking about as a piano trio, because as a cellist, like my instrument has the least amount of projection, generally. Mm -hmm. Violin is second, and piano actually has the most power. So, so Lee is incredibly sensitive, and, and and Marcy was saying that she like actually heard the cello more than she usually does in a piano trio, but I'm always like, Lee, I can't hear myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is Sam Hall, and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Our trio is from New Mexico, uh, but I'm the pianist of Trio San Bernardo. I'm Zach Motz. Uh, I live in Philly, but I'm from New Jersey, uh, and I'm the cellist. Brandon Garbo. I'm the violinist in the trio, originally from Portland, Oregon, and living in Philadelphia now. Uh, you know, when things are going well, we definitely can feel that. Um, and, uh, you know, and we start enjoying it more when it feels like the audience is really in contact with, you know, we're really in contact with the audience and it's a mutual kind of thing. Um, but there is, uh, a, a, you know, a common thing which happens, um, which makes it more difficult to tell when it's going very well on your own instrument, but maybe the other players aren't as happy and, and uh, with their own playing and so So it feels good for me, but it may not feel good for the others. Uh, I think you also definitely, and we, we've had this experience a lot, I think you also learn to not trust your perspective too much, to uh, decide that you're going out there and you're, you're, you're playing your best, you're giving your most no matter what, and you can't really trust your own judgment because it's so biased, it's so subjective, yeah. um, and so often you're just wrong about how you think it went. Well, we like to play everything that we really enjoy, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't like playing pieces that we don't like. No, so it's, it's great for, for uh, classical music, and I feel like the audience is really, you know, we really connect well. And last night was actually really profound, um, especially in the connection we felt in the slow movement of Beethoven. Um, it's just really... It was, it was moving for us to, to play. What happens when the audience, you don't feel like you're it's, connected? It's a, you feel like that's just a lot of coughing. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> coughing in the slow movements is a, is a big indicator. Yeah, and it's yeah. noticeable when the audience doesn't cough. As a matter of fact, because it's, you know, it's so common. Um, and I don't, I mean, last night, everybody just coughed at the end of the second movement, at the end of the slow movement. You know, and we appreciate that. It's like you were holding it. Yeah. <laughs> and so it was... It was wonderful.